Hello friends, if you're new here, my name is Malki Asad, a plastic surgeon resident in the US, and I've received multiple questions from students who are following me on how to score high on the step 2CK after step 1 became pass fail. I recently made a video on my step 2CK experience and I'll leave the link for that video in the cards above and in the description below. But in this video, I'm going to focus on how to ace the step 2CK exam and get a high score which is going to be very important after step 1 became pass fail. The first tip to score high on the step 2CK exam is to actually study very well on the step 1 exam. I'm sure some of you are asking now, well, how does step 1 has to do with step 2CK? Why? studying well for the step 1 exam will result in a high score on the step 2CK exam. Let me just focus on step 2CK. And I disagree with that because step 1 and step 2CK are intersected. They're not totally separate exams. Although step 1 is more focusing on the basic science part of medicine and step 2CK is more focusing on the clinical aspects, these exams intersect. They're not separated. So you'll find so many questions in step 2CK that you can answer from your step one knowledge and vice versa. But now step one is pass fail. So you shouldn't care too much if you score high or low because there is no score uh, to start with. So that's why I recommend you start with step one, study the exam very well, and then go and do step two CK because now you will be using the knowledge from two exams to get a high score rather than the knowledge from one exam. So don't be shocked if you go to the step two CK exam and find questions that you can answer from your step one knowledge. So study for step one very well, which will help build the base for your step two CK knowledge and will also make the preparation for step two CK much easier and faster. The second tip to ace your step two CK exam and get a high score is to minimize the resources. I know this might seem counterintuitive because you believe the more resources you study, the higher you'll score, and I disagree with that. I don't think that studying more resources will result in a higher score. I believe that if you study one or two resources very well, master these resources, and then go to the exam, you will score higher than someone who spent their time on five and six resources and did not study any of these resources well. And the reason why I say that is because the resources are very big these days. Look at UWorld, for example, which is, in my opinion, the best resource to study for Step 2CK. UWorld now is around 4,100 questions. Imagine 4,100 questions. And you have to study the questions, you have to study the explanation, review 4,100 questions, or the notes you took from 4,100 questions. So imagine the, the amount of time that takes. So you have to ask yourself, do you have time to really master more than one or two question banks? And the answer in most cases, no, I don't have time because I also have to do US clinical experience. I need to do research. I need to do get good grades on my, in my school. I need to do some volunteering. So there are so many parts of your application that you also need to take care of. So that's why I always recommend focusing on one or two resources and mastering them rather than wasting your time between so many resources that you don't master. And if you're asking what are the best resources to prepare for the step to CK, I have a detailed blog on that and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. But in summary, you all is the best resource. I don't recommend many books, especially if you prepared step one before step to CK. You will realize that you're almost ready 70% after you finish step, step one. So if you finish step one, you all is the resource, master that question bank, study it in a comprehensive manner, study the explanation. I have a detailed video on how to study you all effectively. So make sure to check that out that video. After you feel very comfortable with you all, you might study another question bank. Generally, as I said, I don't recommend studying books for step to CK. So if you want to study another resource uh, other than you all, maybe consider Amboss as another question bank. Also, you might consider studying you all of step three, which covers similar information to the one covered in step to CK. The third tip to acing your step to CK is to use assessment tools. You would be shocked by how many students go to the exam without using assessment tools. And in my opinion, it's a no brainer to use assessment tools because if you wanna score high, you wanna know whether you will be scoring high before you go to the exam. So these assessment tools are like a crystal ball. They can predict your score. Of course, there is margin of error. Of course, they're not 100% accurate, but they can give you an idea of where you stand. So why not use them and use them ahead of the exam day? If you use them the week of the exam, what help would that be? Because if you're gonna go to the exam after a week, doing an assessment tool will not help because you will not change your strategy in the last week before you go to the exam. So use them one month, two months, maybe at the beginning of your preparation. Do the first assessment tools, get an idea of where you stand, and then 
you do another assessment tool after a few weeks, another assessment tool, and then you measure your progress, whether your score is increasing or not, whether you're using the right resources, whether uh, there is deficiency in some area that you need to work on. That's why start using assessment tools, use them early and follow your progress. Don't just solve the assessment tool and forget about them. You have to analyze your mistakes, see how you can improve your performance and follow your progress. And if you need any help with your step to CK preparation from subject specific tutoring, if you're having difficulty understanding uh, certain topics, or if you need help to create a study plan, study schedule, what best resources to use, go ahead and check out our USMLE tutoring services that I'll leave the link for that in the cards above and in the description below. The fourth tip to score really high on your USMLE Step to CK exam is to be realistic. You can't expect to score 270s if you just have one or two weeks to prepare for the exam. So you have to understand your baseline knowledge. If you have really good knowledge from your medical school or from your Step 1, you might need less time than someone who did not study well during your, their school or if you're starting with, with Step to CK. So you have to understand your baseline knowledge how much time you have overall, like how many months do you have to prepare for the exam and also how many hours a day. So if you have six months to prepare for the exam but only one hour a day because of a rotation or work in the hospital, that would be a totally different strategy from someone who has six months but 12 hours a day. So you have to be realistic about how many weeks or months do you have available to study for the exam, how many hours a day and your baseline knowledge and all these factors will affect your performance on the exam. And finally, your study technique and strategy. You see two students, both preparing from your world, both have at the same time studying together, one scores 270s and one barely passes. Why? Because of poor study techniques. So you have to optimize these studying techniques as much as you can. And I have a detailed course on how to study for exams effectively to help you boost your performance. These techniques include active learning, space repetition, using mnemonics, memory palaces, and so many other techniques that can help increase the retention of information and transform more information into the long-term memory. I'm sure you've been in this situation where you studied a certain page from your book and then you get tested on that page and you don't know the answer because you forgot. Or after you see the answer, you say, oh wow, I know the answer, but if I thought about this differently, I would have answered it right. And that is what the course will help you with. Optimize the time you are using to study to boost your performance. And as all our courses, the course is 100% refundable if you're not satisfied. So I'll leave the link for that course in the cards above and in the description below. Also make sure to have a detailed study plan and study schedule, which tells you what do you need to study on each day, how many questions should you finish by the end of the week, by the end of the month, when are you expected to finish your exam because that would be your guide during your study preparation. And if you need any help with this process to help you create a study plan, study schedule, choose the resources that best helps you achieve the score that you are looking for, check out our USMLE tutoring services. And our tutors can also help you explain topics that are difficult to understand. I'm sure you've been in this situation where you couldn't understand the paragraph or you can understand a question or two or hundred. In that situation, it's better to have a tutor explain the topics to you, uh, tell you what is high yield, what is your low yield, what are the points you need to focus on rather than spending hours on Google trying to find the answer. So our tutors don't only create a study plan and study schedule for you and help you choose the resources, but also provide you with one-on-one -on -one subject specific tutoring to help you ace your exam. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope the information I provided will help you ace your step to CK exam and get the score that you are looking for. If you find any value, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. If you still have any questions or even suggestions to help future students, drop them in the comments below, or feel free to reach out to us to our email info at thematchguy.com, my Instagram or Twitter at Malka Asad, or my Facebook page Malka Asad MD. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and good luck on your step to CK.